During the next 60 days, 160 lawmakers will decide on everything from allowing people to carry concealed weapons in the state without a permit to changes to the death penalty. Florida's legislative session begins today. There are a lot of controversial education issues that they're going to consider. Those include expanding the state's parental rights and education law. Others know it as the Don't Say Gay Bill. That would prohibit instruction on sexual orientation and gender identity up to the eighth grade. They will also consider changing school board races from nonpartisan to partisan, meaning the candidates will pick a party there. Florida lawmakers will also decide whether every Florida student will be eligible for state-backed school vouchers, which could be used to send students to private schools using taxpayer money. News for Jackson reporter Brianna Andrews is joining us now live. And Brianna, critics say that the expansion of school vouchers could negatively affect public school funding. That's right. Good morning. There is concern that this would redirect funding to private schools, which are not held to the same accountability standard as public schools. But supporters say this will actually benefit public schools by creating open competition. The original voucher program began under former Florida Governor Jeb Bush. Right now, according to state data, 75% of Florida students are eligible for a voucher. However, only 6% utilize them. The current system allows vouchers to be used for private school tuition through three scholarship programs, the Florida Tax Credit, the Family Empowerment Scholarship, and the HOPE Scholarship Program. But the vouchers do not cover the full cost of tuition. Right now, families are only eligible for a voucher if they make less than $104,000 a year. The proposed expansion would remove this limit while giving priority to low-income students. This would make every school-age child in the state eligible for a private school scholarship or another type of funding for education-related expenses like tutoring and instructional materials. That would allow homeschool students to also receive a voucher. Now, if the bill passes, Florida would become the third state in the country to offer a universal school choice. Reporting live, Brianna Andrews, Channel 4, the local station. If you have an opinion about legislation being proposed this spring, or you just want to see what your representative is doing on your behalf at the state capitol, here's how you can check who represents you and what they're proposing. So for the Senate, you can search flsenate.gov slash senators slash find. Once there, you'll type in the address, your address, to find the senator representing you. Now, the site also includes their email and district office phone number. You can also find your lawmaker by checking your voter registration card. It's the same for the House, by the way, as well. You can go to myfloridahouse.gov slash find your representative, type in your address, click find your elected officials, and voila, there it is. Once you have their name, you can then search bills that they have proposed or the ones that are listed, they are listed as, as sponsors. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis will kick off the legislative session this morning at 11 with a state of the state address. During his speech, he is expected to lay out his priorities. Though DeSantis is unlikely to formally announce a presidential campaign until the legislature wraps up its work in May, his priorities now likely mark his priorities for a presidential run. We do plan to stream this morning's address live when it happens on our website, newsforjacks.com. In the last half hour or so, the gates opened at TPC Sawgrass ahead of the first round of the Players Championship. This is still the practice round, uh, but it people is. are coming out to see it. Oh, man, lots of excitement for the golfers, lots of excitement for the spectators. News for Jackson reporter Joe McLean joins us again live from TPA, TPC Sawgrass. And, you know, the, the tournament officially tees off on Thursday, as we know, Joe, but there are plenty of other events leading up to the championship, including today, which is Military Appreciation Day. Right. It's also when a lot of the, the practice rounds are going on. And as you mentioned, yes, Military Appreciation Day. We want to talk about some of that with uh, uh, Tournament Director Jared Rice. Jared, thanks uh, for being with us this morning. Uh, talk to us about how preparation has been going so far. What else needs to be done before Thursday? Yeah, well, thank you for being here. We just opened uh, our entries about 15 minutes ago, so we are open to the public. It's, uh, it's Tuesday, Military Appreciation Day. Uh, course looks fantastic. We have almost 30 local restaurants out. Uh, 
Uh, and today is, um, I was mentioned this earlier, is a great day to work from home out here at TPC Sawgrass, especially this afternoon. From home, wink, from wink. Home. I, mean, I can't go, can't <laughs> wink, do the quote thing, but uh, great opportunity to come out. Um, best players in the world are here practicing. It's an awesome opportunity to see them uh, hone their craft, uh, very accessible. Uh, tickets are still available on the players.com. And then around 4.30, we start a military appreciation ceremony. So that's always a special thing for us to do. Talk to us a little bit about what folks should expect that's new this year. Year that's that that's different from previous I think when you uh, arrive on property you'll see that our overall build the structures the uh, magnitude of uh, the build out is appreciably larger so that's always kind of cool to come out and say like wow this you know this is a temporary city and I think that's on on full display local restaurants are always going to be really important to us to highlight the taste of this community because of so many attendees are coming from outside the community uh, so always a, again a good opportunity even for locals to eat their way around the golf course uh, and then also make sure you're downloading your app. So the new PGA Tour app will be a great resource to find out what's happening on site and also managing your tickets. Make sure you get those in your wallet, either your tickets or your digital parking. Have those ready when you arrive. And you mentioned oh, over last year, uh, weather is going to be a little bit better. You mentioned about 200,000 uh, expected over this week. Yeah, that's what our, our target is in, in any normal weather year is about 200,000. That's what we feel is a good mix of people, energy, and puts us in a position to deliver a really great fan experience. Much more than that, and it starts to stress our system. Uh, so we hope to get there. Uh, weather is getting better and better every day. Uh, you know, we, we seek perfection, uh, but it looks like, uh, at least on the near-term forecast, uh, through Thursday, pushing into Friday, is going to be uh, pretty stellar. So we'll, 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 we'll be better off than last year for sure. One more question. Talk to us about Military Appreciation Day, about the significance of that and, and what's going on today and how uh, y'all are uh, helping out active service uh, service men and women. Um, you know, for your viewers, I think we all know Northeast Florida, big military community for active, uh, reserve, retired military, um, you know, five military installations within a couple hours uh, drive time of here. So what we do is we provide some program, either complimentary tickets, uh, some food and beverage uh, value uh, to those members of that community, as well as Patriots Outpost which is a venue on 16T for, again, that community to, to come together and uh, uh, have some fellowship and camaraderie. And then Military Appreciation Day ends tonight with a uh, presentation of the colors fly over and a great concert from Riley Green. All right, sounds like a great time. Uh, Tournament Director Jared Rice, thank you so much thank for you. being with us this morning. Well, a lot more coverage to come of the Players' Championship. For now, I'm reporting live. Joe McLean, Channel 4, The Local Station. Thank you, Joe. Recognizing the women who serve and protect. Still ahead, a pioneer in the FBI paving the way for other female agents. Plus, a new travel tool for families. A look at the resource helping you save on airfare when you are flying with your children. And want to give you a live look outside. That is our St. Augustine Beach Sky Cam from the Guy Harvey Resort. It is beautiful out there. Lots of sunshine for Military Appreciation Day. That's not too far from the players, TPC Sawgrass course, so certainly good weather on this Tuesday morning. My name is Diana Hawk, and I'm an operations manager at Morgan & Morgan. At Morgan & Morgan, we've made it really easy. Anything that we need from you, you're able to do from the comfort of your home. You can just dial pound law, and you talk to someone like me. Property appraiser candidate Jason Fisher is ready to serve us and is endorsed by Governor Ron DeSantis. In the legislature, Fisher worked with Governor DeSantis to cut waste, crack down on illegal immigration, and support our first responders. That's why Sheriff T.K. Waters and the Fraternal Order of Police endorsed him. Fisher will lead with integrity and use his experience to streamline government, improve efficiency, and keep our taxes low. Jason Fisher, DeSantis endorsed, ready to lead. When you love the environment, you work to protect it. The Subaru Solterra electric SUV. Subaru's first all-electric, zero-emissions SUV. We've got some catching up to do. Mm. Sure do. Built to help you protect the environment as you explore it. Love. It's what makes Subaru, Subaru. Injured in a car accident? One thing for sure, being injured is a business. Don't call any attorney. Protect yourself, family, and friends by calling the doctor you can trust at 1-800-DOC-TONY. Remember, I'm more than a catchy number. I'm real.
You're invited. The Rooms to Go anniversary sale is going on now. Save big with 60-month interest-free financing and low monthly payments on incredible styles store-wide. Shop amazing pieces and beautiful rooms with great sale prices plus special bonus buys and low interest-free monthly payments for 60 months. That's right, 60 is back. Now that's financing worth celebrating. Come on, the anniversary sale at Rooms to Go is going on now. <laughs> I can't hold on. You're so close. Grab my hand. Three. <laughs> Lucy, my grip. Don't let go. You have to go on without me. <sighs> Goodbye. No. If only there had been someone we could have called for help. Yeah, nice. I get it. I'll call and get the driveway fixed. From concrete lifting to foundation repair, we'll remove all the drama of keeping your home healthy. Alpha Foundations, protecting you since 2002. Commitment isn't just a word we throw around, it's baked into everything we do. If you've been hurt in a car accident, our commitment gets real, real fast. We interview witnesses and gather evidence. We let the other side know that you're not alone and that your words have power. You were injured by no fault of your own, but together we can hit back with the full force of the law. Real commitment starts when you walk through our door. Farah and Farah. Seven candidates running for mayor, answering your questions. Their plans to stop the violence, add affordable housing, fix roads and bridges. Kent Justice moderates from Jacksonville University. Wednesday at 8 on Channel 4 and News 4 Jax Plus. Exact Track 4D, the Weather Authority's secret weapon against severe storms. The most cutting edge weather technology in Northeast Florida and South Georgia. Almost 70 degrees already here on the south bank. We've got a little bit of fog and leftover haze here through parts of western Duval, just getting into Baker County and southward here through Clay. Visibility also started to slip here in the 8 o'clock hour at areas around central St. Johns County, where we saw some of the thickest fog earlier this morning, especially along I-75. We're starting to see those improvements. Baldwin has been all over the place, and it's back to about a mile here, and you can see some of those thicker spots. So you were at a half mile. That's a little bit of improvement, but our hazy conditions, and we'll have to head back over to Clay County to see if we're seeing any of that haze now over at Doctors Lake, but there's where it continues thick at areas near Putnam. So Palm Coast still looking good here. A little bit of haze left over. Same with Palatka. I love the uh, six panels here because in real time, so I showed you that, what was it, about 17 minutes ago, and this was a lot more hazy at Glen St. Mary, but we're starting to see puffy clouds, blue skies, but we're still socked in here between Union and Bradford County. 60s now at Cecil making that jump from the 50s. We've got 72 degrees here at May Port and Arlington, much like the South Bank in the upper 60s, 70s now at Valdosta. You see the numbers changing even as we speak. Nay, Hunter just made the jump. 70s, 66, 67, 68, 69 is to get around the circle and all the way over or around the uh, uh, region here to the west with those 70s to connect the dots over toward the Isles of Gold. And it's the 60s that are climbing our low 60 right now, along with some of that lighter fog and haze that we saw at Columbia County at Lake City, which is currently not reporting the difference here in the 24 hour spread. 10 degrees different right now to the north. Meanwhile, St. Augustine is the anomaly and you're two degrees cooler than you were 24 hours ago. Our temperatures in the 60s will make that climb. We'll do this one more time here into the upper 80s. I've got 87 at three o'clock delaying that uh, daytime high coming in closer to the latter half of three early part of four o'clock as that cold front and then bears down overnight tonight in each one of the products that I've shown here continues to try to drag in at least the depicted chance for showers. It's a frontal boundary. It'll stir the things up in the atmosphere, but being dry is going to help us out and keep those rain chances, I think, closer to about 10%. The yellow barbs that you see, they almost look like little uh, tadpoles swimming through. But what we'll have here is the northeasterly flow that really picks up, making for what I've been saying there is that windy Wednesday. And then it's the rain that we're talking about, or at least the scattered showers. So far, the wording for the rumbles of thunder have been pretty quiet coming in here during our overnight hours. So here we are at one o'clock in the morning. We wake up and start the day and I let this go to three o'clock where we picked up roughly about a tenth of an inch of rain here at Jacksonville. So far so good and looking good in St. Augustine until after three o'clock. And here's where the next round comes through and up go our rain chances with the numbers moving up to about a half inch, that third of an inch here at St. Augustine. But the point is after 11 o'clock, 
12 o'clock and continuing here through our, our 2 o'clock rather and continue through Saturday is where the boundaries to our south. And this means that the partly cloudy skies are filling in and that's a trend that takes us from Saturday night into Sunday. It looks like it'll be a really nice day for that final game, uh, final day of play. It's cloudy and hazy outside and foggy with our partly cloudy skies expected later this afternoon. And with partly cloudy skies, and the breeze that's steady, but not as strong as we'll see here tomorrow, pollen count continues. I'm looking forward to Friday and seeing some of those showers. We'll, we'll briefly bring those numbers down, but I do expect them to rebound there on Saturday. 84 degrees beachside. I'm thinking closer to the mid 80s. The water temperature, this was showing 70 earlier. Um, upper 60s, lower 70s. You work up a sweat, maybe you can get in there and get a little splash, and then it's back to the uh, chair to soak up some sun and enjoy the afternoon. 88 degrees will be a record here for today, coming in the latter half of three, early part of four. And then by five o'clock and beyond, temperatures will drop back down to the upper 50s and even cooler yet, 40s and 50s will start the day on Thursday as we'll get 70s back-to-back -back rounds with Friday's forecast, even though we're still in the 70s and that's a change from what we had yesterday, the excess cloud cover holding us in the 70s along with the showers. And then Sunday, drying things out, still in the 70s and we'll lose that one hour, still making for a nice day to be out of the players. Local stores loaded with those hard to find household essentials. Help families out and snap it. When your morning cup of coffee from your favorite cafe really hits the spot. Planning a productive day with the Weather Authority app, maybe in the garden? Don't forget to snap it. Log in to news4jacks.com and become a News 4 Jacks insider for free. Then click Snapjacks and start uploading your photos today. Do it all and more with Snapjacks. Channel 4, the local station. Does your home struggle to stay comfortable with daily weather swings? Call the pros at J&W Heating and Air and get our checkup for only $67. Trust the experts to keep you comfortable all year long. Right here, right now. What's up, Jacksonville? Doc Tony. Did you know that if you are injured in a car accident in the state of Florida, you have 14 days to see a doctor or lose your personal injury protection insurance benefits. That's $10,000 in benefits that protect you should you be injured in a car accident. That's 14 days, Jacksonville. Injured in a car accident? After 911, call the doctor you can trust. That's me, Doc Tony, at 1-800-DOC-TONY. I'm more than a catchy number. I'm real. There's a lot of things in this world happening right now, and consumers like myself want some level of control. I am a solar development project manager, and I get to be on the forefront of the best technology to produce clean energy. We've transitioned from 4 and 0 to natural gas, and we're moving responsibly towards solar, battery, and green hydrogen, and this will all ultimately bring savings to the customer. I know that FPL is looking at other ways that down the line will reduce my bill. We can be less dependent on oil, and the future is bright. When it comes to good things, we always want more. Want more. Even as a child, Miss Moore was no different. More. More. She loved more. More? So when she was injured, she called Morgan and Morgan. With more lawyers, more offices, and more than $15 billion recovered, she didn't have to ask for more anymore. When you're injured, you deserve more. Morgan and Morgan, America's largest injury law firm. Does your home struggle to stay comfortable with daily weather swings? Call the pros at J&W Heating and Air and get our checkup for only $67. Trust the experts to keep you comfortable all year long right here, right now. In honor of Women's History Month, FBI Jacksonville is recognizing women who serve and protect. FBI Special Agent in Charge Sherry Onks is joining us this morning. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. Good Appreciate morning. it. Good morning. Thank you for having me. So what drew you to the FBI? So I grew up in East Tennessee in a small town. Uh, and while I was a sophomore in college, uh, my professor brought her husband, who was an FBI agent, uh, to my class um, as a sophomore. And after he came and did a recruiting speech and talked about what a great team the FBI was, I was hooked. So I told <laughs> wow. my professor at that time that I was ready to join the FBI, and that's what I strived for from that day forward. So for those who are watching, you know, young women and they're just not quite sure about it, what advice do you have for them? that the FBI is a great place to work. There is a uh, opportunities for work-life balance. You can have a family, you can have a career. Uh, and for this small town girl, it has been an adventure of a lifetime. Is it anything like the movies? 
Uh, sometimes, <laughs> right. sometimes it absolutely is. So the first female FBI special agent graduated from the FBI Academy in 1972, as you know. Her name is Susan Malone. She's actually going to be here in Jacksonville later this month. Can you share a little bit what it might be? have been like in terms of the difference between when she came on in the early 70s and your experience that you had? So a true trailblazer. Hmm. So before uh, last year, the FBI celebrated 50 years uh, women serving in the FBI. So in 1972, before that, no women were allowed to become FBI agents in the FBI. So Susan Rowley Malone came in in 1972. She was a Marine. Uh, hmm. Two women went through the class at that time. One was a nun and one was a Marine. Wow. And so I stand on her shoulders. So uh, she, uh, she, she made it uh, uh, able uh, for us to come in afterwards. So the women that followed, she did the hard work for us. <laughs> and she's going to be in, as I mentioned, later this month. There, how could the public meet her? You know, maybe there are some young women who are so inspired by her, they want to learn more about joining the FBI. So later this month, we're holding a diversity agent recruitment event on March 23rd from 4 to 7 p.m. So we encourage you, if you want to learn more about the FBI, again, a great career to apply through fbijobs.gov um, by March 17th. Um, and once you apply and if you qualify, we'll get back to you with all the information. Miss Rowley will be there um, and it will be super, super exciting. Uh, I've heard her story last year at the 50 year anniversary and you won't be disappointed. Most rewarding experience for you being in the FBI? So I would say the most rewarding experience has been um, what it feels like to help people when they've been victimized, whether they've lost all their money, um, they've been um, victimized uh, through drugs or gangs or stopping a terrorist event. It makes you feel pretty good at night when you're able to make a difference and that's, that's what a career with the FBI means. Jerry, thank you for being here. Appreciate it. I'm sure you've motivated some of our viewers to certainly at the very least learn more. And for our viewers at home, so the event is, I want to remind you, it's Thursday, March 23rd. It's from 4 to 7, as Sherry mentioned. You do need to register by March 17th by visiting fbijobs.gov. We'll be right back. Your glasses say a lot about you, so you want frames that fit your face, your style, and your budget. Book your eye exam today. Get two pairs of glasses for $95 plus a free eye exam and lens upgrade. Find your perfect fit at My Eye Lab. If you were stationed at Camp Lejeune from 1953 to 1987 and are facing serious health issues, contact Farrah and Farrah. You may be entitled to significant compensation. Call 1 800 HURT 247. On crime, there's a clear choice. On the city council, liberal Daniel Davis voted against funding to put more cops on the street. And in Tallahassee, Davis voted to make it easier for criminals to cover up sexual assaults of children. Daniel Davis, dangerously liberal on crime. Conservative Republican Leanna Gutierrez Cumber has led the charge against sex trafficking, and she's fully funded law enforcement. Conservative Republican Leanna Gutierrez Cumber will keep Jacksonville families safe. Get a guaranteed offer from Mark Spain Real Estate and sell your home fast. Trust the number one real estate team in the U.S. and receive the strongest cash offer in the industry. There's no stress. Go to MarkSpain.com to get a guaranteed offer on your home today and start packing. We are so excited to celebrate our Woman of the Week program with Pontevedra Plastic Surgery. I love it. I think it's awesome that we were able to lead this initiative. I think it's neat to recognize some key women stepping forth and helping the community. I feel like we have a whole bunch of understated stories that need to be told. Handle multiple tasks and roles at one time and just do everything efficiently. So, like you said, super women. Super women. That's Every woman one. is a super woman. Every woman is a super woman. If you know a woman that you want to empower, praise and pamper, enter her to be our woman of the week. Hey folks, you ever search why shark coatings is the best? Well, one of the many reasons is our polyurea. We don't just buy it from anyone who has it in stock. We custom blend ours, specializing between summer and winter blend, providing you with the best product for our area. After grinding the concrete, that polyurea will form a permanent bond at the molecular level and will not pull away like epoxy. Shark coatings not only uses the best product, but we use the best equipment and we definitely have the best crews. See how shark coatings can make a difference for you. Call, click, or text today. Unexpected wildlife making themselves at home? Turner can fix your home and fix the game with our wildlife exclusion, trapping, and removal program. After all, the house always wins. Visit turnerpest.com today to shut the door on wildlife. With over a 1,000 frames, find the frames that fit. 
Your style, your budget, and your schedule. Book your same day eye exam today. Get two pairs of glasses for $95 plus a free eye exam and lens upgrade. Find your perfect fit at My Eye Lab. You're watching Channel 4, the local station, live with Jennifer Waugh, Vic Michelucci, Bruce Hamilton, Melanie Lawson, Time Saver Traffic with Amanda DeVoe, The Weather Authority Forecast with Richard Nunn, and Traffic and Breaking News with Sky 4. The Morning Show continues. 30 on the button on this Tuesday morning. You take a live look right now through our Morning Star Marina's sky cam out at the Mayport area. That breeze is flapping out there. You're going to want that later today, given the high temperatures we're expecting. The skies were a little bluer 30 minutes ago. Yeah. Time for that gray to get away. Bring that blue in there, Richard Nunn. A and lot of people, a lot of people, not today, but the rest of the week. Today, tomorrow, all through the week, going to be heading out to the golf course. Yes, they, they want to know what to do weather-wise. Popular spot here over a couple days, and you know if they're heading out today for some of the practice play, it's going to be a warm day. As you saw, the breeze continues to blow. It'll be a little stronger as it gets caught in that pinch there in some of the channels. But I wanted to just start here to show you where our dense fog advisory does continue, although the number is really not representing that. So it doesn't look like much going on here at all, and that's the important thing. As I extend the view and kick in the satellite, even less cloud cover to the north of our frontal boundary than we saw this morning. This is the front that we've been talking about bringing in those substantial changes here overnight and into our Wednesday. A windy and a cool Wednesday at that. Palatka back on the board showing the zero. So at the airport we're seeing visibility. It could be as little as a tenth of a mile. Three at St. Augustine and everybody else has started to see the improvements here aside from Baldwin, which is up a little bit. You were at a half a mile at last check, but still kind of hazy as we continue southward here through parts of Clay, Putnam and into St. John's. So that's why I wanted to come here and show you that we can see the glint on the uh, water here as the sun continues to cry. It continues to rise, but what we're still seeing out on the horizon it's sort of a hazy view and that too will continue to clear here as we make our way a little deeper in through the morning and early afternoon currently sitting at 67 degrees with the west wind at seven and here's another one of the cameras and i know that this one is updating but you can see the tree the light pole there and the gray skies overhead so we are still seeing widespread fog across southeast georgia just not seeing some of the current temperatures our 60s continue to climb in the river city and we'll end up with daytime highs taking us into the record level for today. That final view here of your bus stop forecast. Yeah, it was a little damp for the walk this morning, especially in those foggy areas. But other than that, 87 as you get on the bus and then 88 degrees hopping off. And that is going to be that record tie or uh, setting new ground here for today. It will actually be a record high 87 would tie a record. And then it's cooling conditions under patchy fog. And I think the fog is going to be very short lived because of the wind picking up and then that dry air scrubbing it out. Here's that frontal boundary comes through overnight tonight and into the start of our Wednesday. So even though we've got a little bit of fog left over, partly cloudy skies will separate here beyond 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock and into the lunch hour, sending us back to some sunshades before some of us might need jackets for our Wednesday. We'll take you through the rest of the work week and into the players when I see you back here at 645. Now, here is your time saver traffic. And I'm following a crash on 95 northbound near University Boulevard. Good morning. 833 is the time and you can see that there are some slowdowns here in the area. So make sure you add plenty of extra time if you're heading from the south side to the downtown area. Again, you can see the crashes on the shoulder, but the orange cones are up. Road Ranger on the scene as well as a trooper. So just keep that in mind. Also following some delays on the West Beltway. If you're traveling north on 295, not too far from Dunn Avenue, that is where you will see some delays. So just keep that in mind. Also seeing some some delays on the East Beltway 295 South as you're coming off of the Dames Point Bridge. So just keep in mind those delays are not as serious, but you still want to add a little bit of extra time to your commute. So let's take a look at the drive times here. 95 from 295 to downtown 20 minute ride there right on time. If you're traveling southbound and just a quick look at JTB back to normal from 95 to the beach traveling eastbound safe travels. That's a look at your time saver traffic. The University of North Florida is warning people to stay vigilant after a student reported being groped by a strange man on campus. Scary scenario here. Police say it happened Sunday morning while the student was walking on the wooden bridge from the Osprey Fountains to UNF Drive. 
Police say the student told them that they were coming from the Osprey Fountains, which is a dorm, when this happened. The student reported a man grabbed them from behind, assaulted them, and let them go after about 15 minutes. Investigators say the attacker was described as an older, heavy set man around six foot one with a mustache, wearing a black hoodie and pants. Students are calling for more protections for students. I feel like this school is too open and anybody could get in and out of here. And I feel like they should really take serious like safety measures for students here on campus. We can't have pepper sprays. We can't have nothing to protect ourselves. So I feel like us ladies, it's really very hard for us to protect ourselves here on campus. Police are asking anyone with information to contact the UNF Police Department. We are getting new insight after a JSO canine got out of its kennel and then bit three people. This happened Saturday on Forest Boulevard in Windy Hill. The dog was stabbed and then taken to the veterinarian. We're learning that the dog is recovering. All three people also expected to be okay. Ulysses Muff is a service dog trainer and consultant for some police departments. He says he understands why three people wanted to help the canine, but because you don't know what type of training it went through, it's best to never approach a dog like that. These dogs are being shaped just for what they're going to be utilized for out here in the real world. And you don't know what picture has been painted in his mind. Uh, he's not a, a house pet. A Jacksonville Sheriff's Office spokesperson says what happens to the canine next will depend on his recovery process. Vote 2023 happening tomorrow. The candidates for mayor will face each other in our News for Jack's mayoral debate in partnership with the Public Policy Institute at Jacksonville University. It starts at 8 o'clock Wednesday night here on Channel 4 and streaming on newsforjax.com and News for Jacks Plus. Our own Kent Justice will moderate, asking questions that you have submitted. And a reminder, you can always read about all of the candidates who are running for every city leadership position with our voter's guide. That's posted right now on our website. You can search for it by typing in newsforjax.com slash voters guide. Passengers on a Southwest Airlines flight forced to turn around after a bird strike over the weekend are now sharing some of the terrifying moments on board. Now that bird strike led to an engine fire which filled the cabin as you can see here with smoke. Passengers say they had to grab oxygen masks but say that some of them didn't come down. We just feel the explosion. <laughs> A lot of smoke, we couldn't breathe. For about, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes, we couldn't breathe. We don't have any mask. They just had to stay in your seats and we had to start breathing, you know, put our heads down and try to get the oxygen out, but no oxygen. It wouldn't Thing come mask down. Mask came down yeah, and down. so we had to keep breathing and in our vests and put our heads down and People were screaming, not knowing what to do. So the flight was on its way to Fort Lauderdale from Havana. No injuries were reported. The pilot was able to return to Havana, where the passengers were then put on a separate flight and able to then head to Florida. Shoppers could soon find it easier to tell if grocery store steaks or pork chops were really made in the USA. New requirement announced on Monday will only allow the made in the USA labels if they come from animals born, raised, slaughtered and processed in the United States. That's a sharp change from current policy, which only requires the animals to be killed here. The label proposal is open for public comment before it becomes final. <coughs> Florida Power and Light customers could soon see their bills go up. The state's Public Service Commission will vote on the increase today. If approved, it would mean an 8% increase for at least the next year. FPL says the increase is needed to recover costs associated with hurricane restoration and the rising cost of natural gas. Alaska Airlines is joining a growing list of carriers now guaranteeing that your family will sit together and they say they won't charge you for that. It comes as the Transportation Department is now launching a new online dashboard allowing travelers to see which airlines charge and don't charge families to select seats next to each other. Scott Keyes, the founder of the flight deal website Going, says the, flea, the fees excuse me, could soon disappear. 
I'm expecting that the rest of the airlines who have yet to announce that they're getting rid of them will soon be announcing that in the few, next few weeks. American and Frontier Airlines have also rolled out similar family seating policies guaranteeing children will be seated next to an accompanying adult without a fee. United Airlines recently announced a policy website update as well, but sp stopped short of offering a guarantee that you'll be able to sit with your child. Travel experts say it's a welcome travel trend, though, for families who have been forced to pay fees. Even if you were traveling with young children, if you didn't want to pay the oftentimes, you know, $50 or more per person to pick your seats, you then were at risk of getting separated on the plane. Yeah, imagine that, particularly if the child is young. So to check out the new federal dashboard on family seating fees, you can go to transportation.gov slash air consumer. Helping you with spring break dinner. Low effort food options to keep dinner interesting. That's next. I'm Charlie DeBerry, owner of Shorebreak Services. When you need a new roof or a roof repair, our team is there for you before, during, and after the project. No subcontractors, just quality workmanship. I absolutely would recommend Shorebreak Services to anybody. They made you feel like you were part of the family and everyone was absolutely professional. They were prompt, they cleaned up after themselves, and it was just an amazing experience from start to finish. Protect your home or business with a Shorebreak roof. Call today for a free estimate. Get new replacement windows and big savings during Renewal by Anderson's 31-day sale. Don't waste another minute dealing with your difficult, inefficient windows. Instead, call for a free window diagnosis and see how Renewal by Anderson can help add more comfort to your home at an affordable price. Our exclusive low-maintenance fibrous composite material is twice as strong as vinyl and it won't warp or bow like vinyl does. Call this number now because this fantastic offer and special financing ends soon. Call today. Big Government Al Ferraro and Liberal Leanna Cumber teamed up on the City Council, pushing policies that hurt Jacksonville families, but help their cronies. Under Ferraro and Cumber, the city budget exploded with hundreds of millions in new spending and borrowing. While inflation skyrocketed, they took money from lobbyists and developers, then voted to give them your tax dollars. Al Ferraro and Leanna Cumber, two liberals taking care of their special interests, not us. If you've been in an accident, you know how hard it can be to find people who will listen to your needs. I'm Glenn Levine from the law offices of Anager and Levine, and we're not like other law firms. When you call our office, you'll speak to an attorney immediately, someone who understands the complexity and legal issues of your case and focuses on the most important thing, your recovery. Call us at 1-800-747-FREE for a consultation and take back control of your life. So if that Instapot that you were so excited about a few years ago is now collecting dust, you may want to pull it out in time for spring break. Yeah, you can use it. Consumer Reports has some ideas to help you put the appliance back to good use. The Instant Pot swept thousands of home cooks off their feet and renewed our love affair with pressure cookers and crockpot meals. But perhaps the one-pot romance has fizzled and your Instant Pot is now all but forgotten. 
So if it's been a while since you've used your Instant Pot, there's a chance that maybe you just got overwhelmed with these elaborate recipes. Consumer Reports' Tanya Christian says remembering why you fell in love in the first place can help. Instant Pot's multi-cookers are meant to make life easier and make cooking easier. So the best way to utilize them is to stick to what they do best. So think about tough cuts of meats, beans, stews, soups, and curries. Those are great in these small kitchen appliances. Consumer Reports tests look at how well multi-cookers pressure cook pork ribs, slow cook chili, steam rice and vegetables, and how well they keep food warm. This Zaver brand multi-cooker earned top scores in all of those tests, and it's easy to use and clean. But maybe the spark is gone for good, and it's time for something new, an air fryer toaster oven combo. Air fryer toaster oven is exactly how it sounds. And what's nice is it combines these two small kitchen appliances that a lot of people love into one device. The best of the bunch, this Breville, offers many different functions, including convection, dehydration, and air frying. And its baking results, ease of use, and roominess make it worth the splurge. For less money, this Cuisinart is just so-so for baking and toasting, but it excels at reheating, and it's easy to use and clean, plus turns out crispy fries and wings. Hopefully, falling back in love with the small appliance will help you prepare many more delicious meals during spring break and beyond. Consumer Reports says many multi-cookers also have a yogurt function, which is a great way to make your own homemade yogurt at a fraction of the cost. You can also make it with all that extra, without all that extra sugar that you find in many store-bought I, I would never have thought about making yogurt in this. I've always what said I wanted to, but I haven't yet. <laughs> what an interesting idea. <laughs> you right. know, <laughs> I am a big fan of this. Yeah. Maybe I don't have a lot of time. Maybe yeah. I'm not a big chef here, but I, I used this on... Sunday yeah. to make a chicken chili. And then I used my air fryer last night. Getting home at like 9.30 at night, I wanted to cook up some yeah. chicken fast. Hey, if you've got it, use yeah. it, right? You're gonna spend that money or someone else spend it to give it to you, might as well. Hey, do the job. If you want something simple, <laughs> it's not an endorsement, I don't work for them, but I'm just saying, <laughs> as a whole, that type of appliance works pretty well for me. We're grilling people. <laughs> we'll be right back, everyone, stay with us. Does your home struggle to stay comfortable with daily weather swings? Call the pros at J&W Heating and Air and get our checkup for only $67. Trust the experts to keep you comfortable all year long. Right here, right now. My name's Christina Bissett, and I'm an attorney at Morgan & Morgan. A lot of the times clients will call in, they don't know what to do. It's our job to step in and really show them how easy it truly can be. If you're injured and you don't know what to do, go to ForThePeople.com. Conservative Daniel Davis has the character and vision to build a better Jacksonville. He's pro-life, pro-Second Amendment, and a champion for public safety. Davis was appointed by Governor Ron DeSantis to a board overseeing economic and environmental policy. Now he'll fight inflation, keep taxes low, and always support our first responders. That's why Congressman John Rutherford, Sheriff T.K. Waters, and the Fraternal Order of Police endorsed him. Conservative Daniel Davis is ready to lead. Do you feel uneasy, irritable? Does your Xfinity bill make you anxious? You may be suffering from UPH, unexpected price hikes. It happened to me. And then I switched to T-Mobile and got 5G home internet for just 50 bucks a month. Now I'm sleeping better, my skin is glowing, my hair has never been so shiny. Most importantly, T-Mobile has price lock guarantee. They will never raise your internet rate, ever. Switch to T-Mobile home internet. It worked for me. And just look at that shine. Wait, what has the internet got to do with my hair? the guaranteed offer from Mark Spain Real Estate is the easiest way to sell your home. Trust the number one real estate team in the U.S. and receive the strongest cash offer in the industry. Don't worry about the hassle of making costly repairs. There's no showings, no open houses, no stress. If you're thinking about selling your home, now is the time. Get a guaranteed offer from Mark Spain Real Estate and sell your home fast. Go to MarkSpain.com to get a guaranteed offer on your home today and start packing. If you've been hurt, let us put our resources to work for you. Our attorneys, investigators, and medical experts. We invest our personal money in your case. Your consultation is free. You pay nothing unless you win. Call Farrah and Farrah.
Does your home struggle to stay comfortable with daily weather swings? Call the pros at J&W Heating and Air and get our checkup for only $67. Trust the experts to keep you comfortable all year long. Right here, right now. Exact Track 4D detects dangerous weather days ahead of time so you can make the right plans for your family. Still showing that dense fog advisor here for Alachua, but the visibility has improved big time. We have not seen it for Putnam County, but that is where we continue showing the zeros here as we got Putnam back on the board. And that's also where we're seeing that shading here moving south from Duval County into areas of clay. Not as much left over for Union and or Bradford, but right down the spine of the states where we continue. Baldwin seeing the improvements. We're up to seven. That's where we are at the airport. So the darker shading should all turn into the lighter mix. And we're showing five here, but the shading is now vacant from St. John's County. So I think we're seeing the improvements there. Skywise, you're looking at Palm Coast, Kelly Smith looking a little bit better here, and we're seeing some breaks in the action. Oh, that's a big improvement here for Union County. Just about 10, what was it 15 minutes ago, I showed you that all three of those continue to remain socked in. And even at St. John's County, seeing a little bit of the cloud cover. So this is where the haze is lifted. That's what we get pushed through here, head back out to the Atlantic, and that allows our temperatures to continue to climb. And we're doing so already. It's 10 minutes shy of nine o'clock and we're seeing more and more and more and more and more of the 70s here across southeast Georgia, northeast Florida. Not yet, but we're getting closer uh, minute by minute here, seeing those temperatures as they continue to climb. And where we had the positive side, we had the plus signs here, we're now three degrees cooler. We'll enjoy it and we'll take that. We bottomed out, by the way, at an even 60 here this morning. So the walk back home substantially warmer. We'll find daytime highs in the 80s. I like this map, so we'll come back here with the frontal boundary coming through. A spotty chance for a shower. That's going to be covered by 10%. John will take you through that in the overnight hours. But here we are at 4 in the morning, getting ready to fire off the AM show at 4.30. We'll take you through the passage of the cold front, maybe a little bit of leftover clouds. Because the wind picks up immediately behind this, I don't think we'll have much of the issue with the fog that we've had over the last couple of mornings. That breeze will help to stir it out and the drier atmosphere. So let's go through Wednesday and Thursday. Now we get ready for Friday and here's where the showers return. So I'll pause this here. 2 a.m. Southeast Georgia overnight showers spreading southward and into our afternoon. But between the pre-dawn hours to where we sit here at three o'clock. We've only picked up about a tenth of an inch, which means that you get play started and we're still looking good. Sure, isolated hit and miss variety showers are still going to be possible, but the big surge comes in overnight and into early Saturday. So here we get to just over that half inch point. That's 11 o'clock, but as you watch here, so technically at 10, the number stops moving up. It moves up just another notch there uh, by a hundredth of an inch at Palatka, but the, even St. Augustine stops, which makes it look like uh, based on the current model, Models that late morning into early afternoon showers move south. They head over the Atlantic and then continued clearing through our Saturday leading to what will be a very pleasant, although abbreviated Sunday 68 outside right now. And I've done the fly throughs here and they continue to show these little areas with showers, which I think tonight would be a bit more accurate than seeing here through the afternoon. This we continue to come back to because that sniffle and sneeze dust is just coming down and you leave your car for a minute or two and then you might need a snow shovel to go find it once again. So you're looking for some fresh air. It's tough here because you've got the westerly component, so some of that sniffle and sneeze dust will migrate to the beaches. But you know what you have there? You got the beach and temperatures taking us, and I'm still thinking closer to the mid, even some upper 80s possible along the sandy shores. That westerly flow and temperatures that are hovering upper 80s, and I wouldn't rule out a low 90 here to the south and around Putnam and into Flagler County. 70s takeover though, Wednesday and Thursday. Add the wind to it, and it is going to be a bit cool out there in the morning, shy of the 60s, and then 40s and 50s will start if you're out at players look for those temperatures to be closer to about 55 to 57 degrees. That's where we'll start our finally Friday. 70s continue. Rain chances overnight and into about midday Saturday. And then we get ready for some sunny skies and pleasant conditions as we close out of the weekend. Ready for more showers to come through early next week. The seven day planning forecast is brought to you by Shore Break Roofing. Don't let a settling foundation ruin the value of your home. Ramjack has been repairing foundation problems for over 40 years. Engineered repairs, affordable solutions, and a lifetime transferable warranty. Rely on the experts. Rely on Ramjack Foundation Repair. The new 2023 GMC Sierra AT4X is equipped to conquer the great outdoors. Or the great indoors. 
Welcome to the peak.